So it's my great pleasure to give a talk here. I thank the uh, uh, for the invitation. So today I will talk about the asymptotic behavior of some families of harmonic bundles. So let me begin with the definition of harmonic bundles. <clears throat> so let's take note a Riemann surface. We consider Higgs bundle on X. This is I mean, let me be a derivative note of a Higgs vector bundle. On X. <coughs> and let theta denote Higgs field. Let theta denote the Higgs field, which is <coughs> MB value for those graph bonds on X. Uh, and E valued from the ground bones on X. <clears throat> and if we are given a met Kavisha metric of the vector band E, Then we have a uh, chunk connection which is the unitary connection determined by the Hamilton metric and the holomorphic structure of the vector band. And we also have the action of the heat field. With respect to H. <clears throat> then H is called, the metric is called, how it metric. Of the Higgs, of the Higgs, Higgs bundle. Some of the chunk connection and some of the coverage of the chunk connection and the bracket of the Higgs field and its assume is zero. Uh, this is coverage of the chunk connection. <clears throat> and if so if this if this condition is satisfied, the metric is called Hamilton metric of the Higgs band. And this condition is called Hitch equation. And in this case, <coughs> the top row is value is a metric is called Hamilton band. So this is the definition of Hamilton band. Ah, sorry. So let, let me remark, uh, if the rank of the band is 1, then Higgs field is just a homework one form. And the bracket of the Higgs field and its adjoint is always 0. So Hitch equation is equivalent to the vanishing of the uh, coverage of the chunk connection. <clears throat> so in the rank, rank, one, rank one case, how we bundle is just the
Ya es mejor que un gang bang, dude. With a form like one form. And flat metric. So the rank one case, uh, the Hamic, Hamic bundles are very easy to see. But in the higher rank case, uh, Hamic bundles are more complicated objects. So. <clears throat> so now, let me remind you uh, one of the most fundamental theorems in the study of Hamic bundles on compact Riemann structures, which is uh, the Kobayashi hitching correspondence for Hamic bundles due to Hitchin and Simpson. So we suppose X is connected and compact. In this case, uh, Hitchin and Simpson prove the following. So suppose we are given fixed boundaries. X, which is stable, and then we zero. Here, they is just the integral of the first chunk class. So, uh, if this condition is satisfied, we have. metric on the determinant line band. And stability is one of the fundamental concepts in algebraic geometry. In this case, it means uh, if we are given a uh, proper subband of E, which is preserved by six feet, then the degree of the subband is negative. Which means <coughs> which is put out by six feet, then the grid is negative. <coughs> so if these conditions are satisfied, each and Simpson proved. We have unique harmonic metric of the Higgs bundle. Such that its determinant is equal to the fixed uh, flat metric on the determinant line bundle. So this is the most one of the most fundamental theorems in the study of uh, Hamic bundles on compact Riemann surfaces. <clears throat> so now uh, let me explain uh, the main objects in this talk. So suppose we are given six bundles on X, which is stable, and they will be zero. Then, for any non zero complex number, we obtain a new Higgs bundle given by the vector bundle, del e deriva, and t theta. And it is also stable and degree zero. So, according to this theorem, we have. How many metric of this Higgs bundle? Such that its determinant is equal to 
자, 히, 믹스트 프라토메터 입봉대 대단찬 드라이버. 서 위에 인테리스트 인 디스 파미 오브 하모닉 반드스. 바테 레드미 리마프. 이프 자우 아스리트 발리즈 오브 T1 and T2 are the same. Then we can easily observe the Hamic matrix HT1 and HT2 are the same. So it's enough to consider uh, the Hamic matrix for positive parameters. We have some modular space of fixed bundles or h a r m o n i c bundles. h a r m o n i c bundles. And we have some natural action of C star or the group of positive numbers on this space. And so we have the flow given by. So, <coughs> so we are interested in this family uh, in this talk. And the general issue is the following. So we'd like to understand no. the a s y m p t i c behavior. This family of harmonic bundle for large T. This is a general issue in this talk. <coughs> And uh, let me mark the study of this family for small parameter is uh, very classical. I mean, it is studied by Hitchin and Simpson. They study this, this family for small parameters. And in particular, they, they prove the existence of the limit of this family when t goes to zero. t goes to zero because uh, the limit of this family and, uh, <coughs> and uh, it, it, it corresponds to fixed point with respect to this action and it corresponds to variation of complex variation of hot structures So <coughs> for small parameters, we have the limit, and it is a more, spe more special type of harmonic bundle. And this, 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 <coughs> this fact is very interesting and useful. And actually, some applications are given. But anyway, this is a very classical fact. And uh, more recently, <coughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> more recently, some people are interested in, the, the, in this family for, for large parameters, and that is in. <laughs> That is uh, the topic of this talk, and uh, <coughs> sorry. And more specifically, we shall discuss the following two two results. Uh, one is asymptotic decoupling. Uh, 
it is not that it means uh, <coughs> it's probably your public bundles. Or as the <coughs> are very close to direct sum of rank one public bundles. As I mentioned, rank one harmonic bundles are very easy to, uh, to be, very easy to see. So this this means uh, when t is large, uh, the structure of harmonic bundles become easier. And we can we have application of this fact to the study of the heat and the weak problem. Studied by uh, Katarkov. No. Pardon. And since. <clears throat> the other is concerned with the limit of harmonic metrics. For general uh, general flow, uh, general flow goes to infinity when t is t goes to infinity. I mean, the modular space of Hamiltonian bundle is non-compact, non and this flow, in general, this flow goes to infinity when t is goes to infinity. So we cannot have the limit of Hamiltonian bundle. in a nice sense. <clears throat> but uh, we can still ask, uh, <coughs> we can still study, we can still, uh, we can still, <coughs> we can still ask, study the, the limit of the family of homospect band with Hamish And uh, very interestingly, in the last two case, Then uh, we can show the existence of the limit of this family of the spectral bundle with Hamilton matrix. And we also have another explicit, explicit description of this, <coughs> this limit. So that is the second main result. And uh, <coughs> Uh, this theorem ensures just the existence of harmonic metrics. And uh, uh, in general, it is very difficult to know uh, the exact uh, complete form, form of harmonic bundles. So, so this is just the limit of the family of harmonic metrics. But uh, it is interesting to know this kind of uh, explicit description of something that is harmonic metrics. And uh, <coughs> let me mention. Uh, <coughs> Our study is motivated to, to motivated by the interest to the study of mo the modular spaces. So <coughs> the modular space of harmonic bundles or the modular space of Higgs bundle uh, is equipped with very interesting structures, such as hyperkeia structures and uh, person structures and uh, non abelian Holtz structures. And uh, <coughs> because the modular space is non-compact, it is interesting and important, but very hard to, to study the the asymptotic of such structures. And uh, the study of uh, this, this kind of, this flow uh, is expected to be a clue to understand such, uh, the asymptotic of such structures. So that is one of the motivation of uh, my study. And uh, <coughs> I, I don't have any, anything about uh, the modular spaces in, in this talk, but uh, my study is motivated by the interest to the modular spaces. Okay, so. <coughs> So we shall discuss asymptotic decoupling. So 
So to explain our precisely, let me uh, make some preliminaries. So first, let me remind you, we have the spectral curve of the Higgs bundle. which is a sub-variety of the cotangent value of x. I mean, <coughs> so we have uh, x, and we have the cotangent value of x, and we have some curves, like this one, and uh, the table spectral part of Higgs bundles. I mean, Higgs bundle induces a coherent shift on the cotangent bundle of X, and support is called the spectral curve of uh, the Higgs bundle, and it is always finite over the base space X. And actually, for any point of X, the fiber of the spectral curve over, I, over P <coughs> is roughly uh, the set of the eigenvalues of the Higgs field at P. So the number of, the, the number of this, this set is always smaller than rank of E. So let, so <coughs> let DE theta denotes the set of the points over which <coughs> the fiber, number of the fibers is spiritually smaller than rank of E. So we have some ramified points with the spectral curve and similar point like this one. And we have the image x so these points are the e theta ah, and, and this set is called discriminant discriminant of the higgs bar <coughs> so roughly uh, the, uh, the discriminant is the image of the similarity and ramified point of the spectral curves let me remark, uh, in general, uh, the discriminant can be equal to, for instance, x <coughs> uh, can, can be equal to x. For instance, if theta is nilpotent, then the spectral curve is the section of the cotangent band. So the, the number of uh, uh, P is always one. So if the rank is, <coughs> so in this case, D theta is equal to X if rank of E is larger than one. <coughs> that this Higgs, Higgs, Higgs field has some uh, multiple eigenvalues as a gen generic part of, the, of X, then <coughs> the discriminant can be equal to X. So introduce a condition in deliver theta is called generically regular simple if <coughs> dimension of the discriminant is zero. And uh, <coughs> we can easily observe if this condition is satisfied, we have, we can take the recovery
Was ist das? Das wird zwölf Kopf. Oder das Full Box. Das ist Kompost. Und die Wähler Union Ovo. Die Image Ovo. Kolom für Kwan 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 Express. I mean, Fayai. Kolom für Kwan Kwan Kwan. And Fayai and Fayai are different. If I and they are different. And this is not the imaginary part. We regard phi i as moving from x prime to t prime. And this is the image of this map. And for the study of the asymptotic of harmonic matrix, taking Rankine covering does not matter. So we can assume. We assume. We may assume this decomposition from the beginning. Simplicity. <coughs> then if this decomposition is satisfied, then we have the decomposition and the six sixes this is to the outside of the experiment if the type sum of the rank one higgs band so so we are ah so we can assume this decomposition. We can assume uh, to have this decomposition. And let phi i denote the projection of E in onto E i. Precisely x minus uh, <coughs> the input. Then, Our first main result is the following. <coughs> so support me suppose is a reverb theta is a general regular thing simple. is stable <laughs> and there is zero and uh, we are uh, for, for simplicity we assume this decomposition from the beginning <coughs> then for any neighborhood this and And for any parameter of x, uh, we have positive numbers such that the following code. For any local section, of E i and E j for different i and j, <coughs> the Hamilton product of V i and V j. With respect to HT, it dominated by the product of C and exponential of minus epsilon T times 
the norms of VI and VJ with respect to HD. So this means uh, this decomposition, <coughs> this decomposition is almost, I think, almost also going to with respect to the Hamilton to scholarity. And we also have the estimates for derivatives. <coughs> for instance, if we take the derivative of, of the projection with respect to the chunk connection of HT, then its norm with respect to HT and the characteristic of X is dominated by C times exponential of minus epsilon t. And we also have the estimate for higher derivatives. <coughs> and uh, we also have the estimate for the restriction of the Hamilton matrix to the line bundles. I mean, we have the line bundles with the metric obtained as the restriction of HD. Then we have the chunk connection of this, uh, this line bundles. And the, so we have, the, we have the curvature of the chunk connection of this line bundle with <coughs> middle matrix. And the norm of this curvature is dominated by C times exponential of minus epsilon t. So the restriction, uh, the restriction of the Hamilton matrix to the line bundles are almost flat uh, when t is very large. So this means, <coughs> this means, uh, <coughs> at least outside of the discriminant, uh, the Hamilton bundles are very close to the direct sum of uh, Hamilton bundles of rank one. So as I mentioned, uh, the rank one Hamilton bundles are very easy. So this, this says the structure of how to bundles are very easy uh, when t is large. And uh, we can apply this fact to the study of uh, heat in double carry progress, which I'd like to explain next. In general, if we are given how many bundle then we have the associated flat connection obtained as the sum of the chunk connection and the fixed speed and its adjoint. And it is very important to study this flat connection, but it is difficult to know, uh, to, to study, uh, that, that is difficult because we know only the existence of Hamilton matrix, but uh, we, know, we, we don't know the, the concrete form of Hamilton matrix. So uh, <coughs> it's difficult to see what is the chunk connection and the adjoint of them. So in general, this, it is difficult to study this flat connection directly. But anyway, so in our case, we have the family of Hamilton bundles. So we have the family of flat connections. <coughs> so we'd like to understand the asymptotic of the family of these flat connections for large T. For instance, we are given pass in X. Then we have the family of isomorphisms. of the fiber of gamma, fiber of gamma zero, and fiber of gamma one, 
obtained as the power of transport. the flat connections. Gamma, a pass. T, T, uh, parameter of one of you, parameter of one. Excellent. <coughs> Thanks. Okay. Then you have the family of these atomic orbitals. So it is interesting to study uh, <coughs> Uh, the asymptotic of this isomorphism for rarity. But it's, uh, as, again, it is difficult. But uh, we can ask the following. <coughs> How uh, <coughs> this isomorphism uh, far from unitary? connection is not unitary. I mean, this part is a unitary connection, but uh, we have some additional part, which is self-adjoint, so this is not, uh, under state is zero, zero this, this, part, this, this connection is not unitary. So, <coughs> uh, we, we can ask how this family of, uh, <coughs> this, uh, this family of isomorphism uh, apart from unitary. And that is uh, asking the study of this double-faded problem. Of Kastarikov and Noru and Pandi and Simpson. And uh, to formulate it more precisely, let me introduce a notation of uh, some, some notation of <coughs> uh, Kastarikov and Noru and Pandi and Simpson. So let V denotes a C vector space. This is the general notation with dimension r. And if, if we are given let's say half symmetric then we have a base of the vector space. Are orthogonal with respect to both of H1 and H2. Then we have the numbers of pi obtained as the difference of the logarithm of the norms of EI with respect to H2 and H1. We can import the value that is EI, we can import uh, this number is decreasing. In this case, the, this sequence of numbers is called the vector distance of H1 and H2. Actually, uh, this quantity is not symmetric for H1 and H2. I mean, if we exchange H1 and H2, we obtain different sequence. So I'm not sure if it is appropriate or not to call this guy as a vector distance. But anyway, this, it is called uh, vector distance. And this quantity is, <coughs> this is a quantity to measure how two metrics are defined. <coughs> so we are interested in So we are interested in the, 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 the distance of two family of metrics, two family of metrics. One is obtained as the restriction of HT to gamma zero, and the other is the parallel transport of the restriction of HT to gamma one. So we are interested uh, in the vector distance of these family of Hamsham metrics. And <coughs> 
uh, to give the precise statement, let me uh, we consider uh, some, some special class, as in the case of Katra, uh, Gofra, Noru, and Pandian, and Shinkso. So we consider class E x minus uh, the discriminant of this term. And in this case, uh, <coughs> we have the decomposition, like if we, if we assume the, the, the decomposition like this one, so we have the pullback form, pullback one form, <coughs> which is denoted like S, DS. <coughs> then we say gamma is non critical. If a real part of AIS minus AJS are non zero for NS. So if this, this condition is satisfied by reordering the Wacomic one forms, we may assume the part, part of AIS is uh, increasing with respect to the index i. We can obtain the following estimate. <coughs> we are interested in this vector distance, and if we divide it by t, then this is close to the uh, <coughs> sequence of numbers minus two uh, <coughs> A1 S so this 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 vector distance is very close to this, this sequence of numbers and the difference is dominated by <coughs> C times exponential of minus epsilon t. Uh, so we have some positive numbers, C and epsilon, and we have uh, the estimate like this. <coughs> and this was conjectured by. and Pang and Shinkso. And uh, uh, verified, some cases are verified by Collier. So difficult once we obtain the asymptotic decoupling, I mean theorem one. Actually, uh, this estimate is rather obvious, obvious in the rank one case. Then uh, we have the asymptotic decoupling, which says uh, along uh, non-critical paths, the, the family of Hamiku bundles for large T are very close to the type sum of rank one Hamiku bundles. So by using standard standard argument in the perturbation, uh, singular perturbation theory, we can obtain uh, this estimate. So let me mention <coughs> why this estimate was studied. So <coughs> that, that is a picture of Simpson. So we take 
and you got that cover in. Of x. <coughs> then we have the value of how many marks? From x, the universal covering to the space of half geometry. So R is the rank of the vector band uh, associated to. Family of Hamlet boundaries. Then, uh, this family of Hamlet marks are in general uh, divergent. I mean, uh, we, are, we are assuming uh, the Hamlet band is generically, uh, generically regular semi-simple, and in that case, this, this, Hamlet band, this family cannot be, uh, when t goes to infinity, this family of Hamlet marks can, can, cannot be. Uh, converges to Hamilton max from x to the to this space. But uh, if we place the target space, we can have the limit of Ham limit of Hamilton max. I mean, if we fix uh, <coughs> if we fix the ultra filter, on positive numbers is countable basis, countable support. Which is roughly uh, taking a sequence of positive numbers and taking a subsequence and taking a subsequence and such a, uh, we take we, we take a infinite sequence of subsequence. So roughly this is just uh, here we just regard it as a subsequence or sequence of positive numbers. Uh, once we, we fix such a filter, then <coughs> uh, this space HR with uh, and we we take some base point p0 in x tutor, then <coughs> uh, the sequence of uh, met, uh, pointed to a distant metroidal space we have this uh, the space we have, we have a sequence of uh, metroidal space with a base point then <coughs> according to Kleiner and Lees Kind of lead. This sequence uh, is, con is converted to a fine building. Of a r minus one type in Gromov Hausdorff topology. Then. Uh, from this estimate, this. and by you, from this estimate and the argument of Hasselhoff and Moore and Pandian Schinks form, we obtain the limit. Of this sequence of Hamlet metric, Hamlet maps, as a <coughs> Hamlet map from X tutor to these affine buildings. So this this interesting picture was conjectured as conjectured by Simpson, and this is uh, to establish this picture is one of the motivation of the study of such kind of estimates. Okay, so we are going to the second part of this talk. <coughs> so in the second part, uh, we are concerned with the limit of the family of Hamilton matrix. We assume the rank two case equals the only rank two case. <coughs> I mean, so we 
com string. So how you go? How you go and do it? Put x, and x is again connected, and compact. But we are assuming the band is the rank of the band is two. And uh, we'd like to study the limit of <coughs> of the, this metric. Then we have two two cases. One is <coughs> the dimension of the discriminant of the fixed band is zero. This is just by, by definition this is just exactly the fixed band is a uh, generic regular semi -sync. And the other, the other case is <coughs> the dimension of the discriminant is one. I mean, this is the case, the discriminant is equal to x. <coughs> and uh, let me remark, the second case is very close to the, uh, very close to the classical story. Of the modular space, and what we have some fixed points, this is action, and the general flow goes to infinity of the modular space. When t goes to infinity, but some flow goes to the other component of the uh, fixed point set. We can we have uh, this kind of phenomena. <coughs> I mean, so in this case, uh, if this condition is satisfied, in the second case, we have the decomposition of <coughs> Higgs field into the multiplication of conformal form and nilpotent Higgs field. And and for, <coughs> uh, the multiplication of conformal form does not matter for Hamilton matrix. So it's enough to consider the family of how many metrics, how many boundaries uh, given this way. But in this case, we have the limit of uh, this family of when t equals infinity. I mean, <coughs> so this kind of orbit, this kind of flow exactly corresponds corresponds to uh, <coughs> the Hamilton bundles with nilpotent Higgs bundles, nilpotent Higgs fields. Actually, if the Higgs field is nilpotent, we have uniform estimate of the energy of Hamilton bundles for this family. So we can easily obtain the, the convergence uh, the, the limit in this way. And uh, in this case, uh, the limit is a fixed point of the shift action. So again, <coughs> this limit is a complex variation of the structure. So anyway, the second case is very close to the classical story. So we are more interested in the first case. And uh, <coughs> very roughly, uh, the second result is the existence of the limit of <coughs> Uh, homic vector band with Hamilton matrix. And uh, we have some explicit dis dis description of 
August uh, <coughs> this limit in terms of fixed uh, Let me remark, if we take a subsequence, then we can uh, easily show the existence of limit. But uh, this is this does not this does not depend on the choice of subsequence. So it is uh, one very important point. <coughs> so this is that, that statement for the second insert. <coughs> and let me mention the previous box. So Matteo Svoboda and Vice and Vic studies this kind of issues when the rank of band is two and the spectral curve is smooth. So this assumption is stronger than ours. And Corio, uh, Corio and D studied cyclic type and bands. In the study, the rank is not, uh, the rank it can be higher than two, but uh, uh, but the form of Hamid band is more restricted. So our result is partial generalization of their study in the rank two, and uh, but uh, we need different techniques, and uh, we also have some interest, some new phenomena uh, which does, did not appear in, in the works. But anyway, these are the previous works. So in the uh, interest of this talk, I'd like to uh, uh, explain the explicit description of the limit. And for that purpose, <coughs> we need some, some preliminary. So first, we need to assume Trace of trace of Higgs field is zero. I mean, the multiplication of homic one form does not matter for Hamiltonian metrics, so we can adjust that trace of Higgs field is zero. And uh, as in the case of asymptotic decoupling, we can assume we may assume the spectral curve is decomposed into the sum uh, into the union of the image of homic one form. So in, the, in, in this case, is described as the image of omega and the image of minus omega. And here omega is one form and it is not non-zero. And <coughs> the omega denotes the zero of the one forms. And in this case, it is exactly the same as the discriminant of the Higgs band. Then <coughs> we can observe, uh, we have two line bundles, L1 and L2, with inclusion. Such that uh, delta E transforms the fixed field into the fixed field on L1 plus L2 given by the multiplication of omega on L1 and the multiplication of minus omega on L2. And uh, the natural morphism from E to Ly are epimorphisms. <coughs> so we can, easy, we can easily observe the, uh, the existence of such line bundles and uh, inclusions. Then, <coughs> uh, 
yuk misal 10 ini so if ini hal berarti ini oh matrix then <coughs> this guy should be direct span of uh, matrix of line boundaries AC L1 plus L2 I mean according to the asymptotic, decom uh, asymptotic decoupling uh, this decomposition <coughs> this, de this decomposition is almost orthogonal polarity so in the limit they should be orthogonal and uh, <coughs> uh, the matrix should be flat I mean yes according to the asymptotic decoupling the, the restriction of the Hamilton matrix to the line bundles are almost flat. So in the limit, they should be flat. But uh, <coughs> the estimate of the asymptotic decoupling was outside of the discriminant. And uh, the actually, the energy of harmonic bundles uh, for uh, the, uh, the, <coughs> the energy of harmonic bundles are concentrated around the, thing, around the discriminant. So in the limit, this, guy, uh, this, this matrix can be singular at the discriminant. So this guy should be flat matrix of <coughs> the line bundles L y restricted to x minus the discriminant. So we'd like to uh, give a give description of such flat, flat matrix on line bundles. Let me remind you a classical theory for a singular flat matrix on line bundles. Let a line bundle, holomorphic line bundle, on X <coughs> and degree B. Then, <coughs> suppose we are given finite subset. And uh, suppose uh, real numbers are attached to each number. I mean, we, have, we are given uh, real numbers such that d minus sigma a i equals zero. Suppose we are given such this beta. Then <coughs> we have. Flat matrix of the restriction of line, the line bundle to x minus b, such that uh, h area times uh, z p i uh, <coughs> to a i. Uh, C A P T around uh, <coughs> P I. I mean V P I a homomorphic coordinate around P I such that V P I P I equals zero. If we take such homomorphic coordinate, then uh, HLA, HLA is not not uh, not CNPT at, at PI. But uh, if we uh, make if we multiply this this factor to HLA, then it is CNPT around the PI. <coughs> we have uh, this kind of uh, flat matrix of of the restriction of the line bound to X minus B, <coughs> and any uh, such flat matrix is described in this way. So to describe uh, the limit matrix uh, <coughs> it's enough to give uh, parabolic weights
sorry, IV uh, and these numbers are called uh, parabolic weights. Of this uh, flat metric at, at P. So to describe the limit matrix, which is a singular matrix of singular flat matrix of the line bundles, uh, it's enough to give a parabolic weight at <coughs> each point of G omega, zero of omega. So that is what we are going to to do in the next so let di denote the degree of the line band the line And uh, we may assume D1 is smaller than D2. Then <coughs> for any point of G omega to the zero of omega, we have two integers associated to uh, the Higgs bundle. And B is given as the order of omega at P, P. I mean, <coughs> omega is described like as DP, NP, DGP. And DP is a homogeneous coordinate around P, which branches at P. And LP denotes the length of uh, <coughs> coconut of the morphism from determinant one of E to L1 plus L2. I mean, E is contained in L1 plus L2. And this is uh, isomorphism outside of the zero of omega. And uh, we have the induced morphism from the determinant band of E to the determinant of L1 plus L2. And this is torsion shift on uh, X, and support is contained in G omega. And uh, <coughs> LP is uh, the length of this torsion shift at P. We have two, these two integers. Then we have the function from the set of non-negative numbers to non-positive numbers given by IPK is MP plus 1A minus AP over 2 if A is smaller than mp over 2 mp plus 1 and uh, is 0 otherwise. Well, if we write the, the, the graph, <coughs> we have minus lp over 2 here and we have uh, lp over 2 mp plus 1 here and by connected by segments and zero here. <coughs> so this is a graph of kind A. So anyway, we have the function like this. <coughs> then It is easy to see 
we have unique we have numbers such that <coughs> which is non-negative and it is smaller than any of np over two np plus one appearance zero of omega and satisfying p1 plus chi p sum of chi p a n theta equals zero which is equal to c and the distance of such numbers then <coughs> Yes, 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 yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is confused. Sorry, I'm sorry. Something wrong. <laughs> sorry. Maybe Max. Sorry. Maybe Max. Sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. <clears throat> then we have a flat metric of L1 uh, whose public weight at P is given by uh, minus chi P A E theta. And we also have HFD flat, uh, flat metric of L2 of X minus Z omega whose parabolic weight at P is given by chi P A E theta plus LP. And uh, we import the tensor product of these, num these metrics is equal to <coughs> the determinant uh, flat metric or the determinant bounding. I mean, uh, <coughs> we have the isomorphism of the tensor product of A1 and A2, which is the omega, and uh, determinant of E on X minus Z omega. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, we fix, uh, as in the beginning, uh, we fix flat metric on the determinant bound. Then uh, we impose its conditions. Then <coughs> the second main result is the following. So when t goes to infinity, this uh, homospectral bound with Hamlet metric is isomorphic to the direct sum of this line, line bound with the flat metric plus L2 H limit L2 on X minus G1. So this is the second one. 
por instantes. satisfied then we can obtain a theta equals zero and the public rates are given in a simple way The public weights appear in the limit limit metric are more complicated. Okay, so let me explain how to write the proof. Some idea in the proof. <coughs> so we fix a parametric of x. Uh, 
and uh, we take a sequence, sequence of real numbers, positive real num positive numbers going to infinity. Then key step is the construction of approximate solutions. Maybe which, which satisfies, <coughs> we have some uh, numbers larger than one, for which <coughs> the LP norm of the curvature of the chunk connection of S metric plus bracket of the Higgs field and the joint. Bounded independently of the i. <coughs> so this is a uh, key step. And uh, of course, we, we know the existence. Uh, so the, the condition, the Hitchin equation is a vanishing of this term. So we know the existence of uh, how many metrics uh, satisfy the, the vanishing of this condition. So uh, we know the existence of such metric satisfying these conditions. But uh, uh, we'd like to <coughs> uh, construct this kind of this solution in a controlled way. So uh, this is the uh, key. I mean, uh, so we, we know uh, f we know the existence of how many metrics. Ah, ah, sorry. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we, we consider the LP norm of distance. Then, so this is uh, the key step, and uh, for that purpose, uh, <coughs> we take neighborhood. <coughs> of the discriminant and uh, we construct the family of uh, flat matrix of the restriction of E to X minus N which is the direct sum of L1 and L2. First, we construct such a flat matrix. And uh, <coughs> we also take uh, how many matrix of the restriction of E deliver theta to N. And then, uh, for these metrics, uh, these, these terms are very small. So uh, we'd like to construct uh, this kind of matrix by gluing these metrics. But uh, <coughs> for gluing, uh, we, we impose some conditions to uh, these metrics. And, uh, and for other such conditions, uh, the parabolic the condition for parabolic weight appears. But uh, <coughs> let me remark. So for the gluing, the condition. For the parabolic.
Olimpia. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> so for the, uh, let me mark for the construction of this harmonic matrix, uh, <coughs> the, in the work of Matteo and Svoboda and Weiss and Witt, uh, they used to, uh, the, uh, the uh, following the suggestion of my night scale, they used to generate this of pound of equations. And the three. <coughs> but in, in general case, uh, it, uh, <coughs> it is useful to use the general theory of uh, <coughs> Of one hundred bundles, <coughs> uh, we know the, the, the existence of hundred metrics uh, with wide similarities by uh, under some assumptions by the theory of uh, by the theorem of Bicard and Bolci. And we also have some estimate, estimate for <coughs> uh, the asymptotic behavior. Or by how many bundles. In my study, then by using this general theory of white hand bundles, we use we can construct some nice quantum metrics and we use it uh, in the proof. So uh, I have a few minutes, so let me explain something more. <coughs> First, <coughs> on, for H, flat matrix outside of N, uh, for, the, for, for this construction, we take some parameters, <coughs> some probably real numbers, such that P1P plus B2P equal LP. And satisfying Bj minus sigma Bjp. Then we have, uh, as I explained, we have flat metric of the restriction of L, Lj to x minus d1. And the parabolic weights are given by. J. Then we also take one more parameter <coughs> and we consider the matrix, this matrix as P I to A H L one B one plus P minus two A H L two B two. So and the Parameters A and Bj are determined later. And uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> For the matrix uh, <coughs> on the on the neighborhood of the discriminant, we decompose. In the neighborhood of the point, and we take one of the coordinates which vanishes at P, and uh, <coughs> so uh, and uh, <coughs> so and uh, such that only the restriction of omega to LP is described in this way. Then we have <coughs> some frame frame of 
L1 and L2 such that E1, E1 plus V2 and E2 is guys a frame of E. Then we have, uh, uh, and this is uh, given on the neighborhood of NP, and uh, by to, we have to consider the, the descaling of these uh, Higgs bundles. So we consider uh, Higgs bundles at P1, P1 given in this way. Then uh, we take V1 tilde, go V1 tilde, plus V2 tilde, and V2 tilde equals delta L P V2 tilde. And uh, <coughs> we, have, we consider the vector bundle given by V1 tilde, V2 tilde. Then <coughs> if you take six bundle, remember uh, <coughs> six bundle on P1 in P2. So, 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 sorry, uh, uh, give me a, a few minutes. So, <clears throat> and uh, ah, it's not. Okay, it's not. And then we take uh, the meaning of NP to C given by phi P V equal P one over NP plus one V. <coughs> And then the fiction of this Higgs, uh, this, uh, Higgs, Higgs bundle is isomorphic to the pullback of uh, this Higgs bundle given <coughs> by its correspondence. Then, uh, uh, if we fix parabolic weights of uh, V1 children and V2 children to infinity, then uh, we obtain uh, harmonic metrics for this Higgs bundle, which is the theorem of Bicard and Bolch. So if we take uh, C1, P, C2, P, <coughs> uh, these are parabolic weights of V1 children to infinity, then <coughs> We have a uh, Higgs band harmonic metric so This is the theorem of the car But uh, we, we have to be conscious of right there is the CP1 more than the zero. <coughs> then uh, by the pullback of this metric uh, by this isomorphism, you obtain the sub family of metrics. <coughs> then uh, we'd like to uh, group these metrics under hx minus n ti. And then, sorry, I, I, I omit to many things, but uh, we have some, con some compatibility conditions which are given by a equal cp1 over mp plus 1 plus lp over 2 mp plus 1 and b1p minus cp1 and b1 minus cp1 b1p equals 0. And to, to solve this condition, these conditions, we have to solve b1 plus a minus Lp over 2 Lp plus 1, Lp plus 1, over 0. <coughs> and of course, this, this, and this, con, this, sol, this has a unique solution of A. So we have unique solution of satisfying these conditions. And then, 
uh, we obtain uh, CP1 and BP1, and then we have, uh, we can obtain other parameters. But uh, <coughs> one, one remark is, this function is not satisfied if this, this equation dies. So we, have, we need to some modifications, such as, uh, so it, it, this should be replaced by chi p a, chi, chi p a, and <coughs> this is not, sorry, harmonic metrics, but uh, some, we, we should also consider some different metrics, but uh, anyway, in this way, we have some natural uh, uh, compatibility, con by considering the compatibility conditions, we obtain some uh, conditions of parallel weights for the limit, limit metrics. So, oh, so, so, I stop here. Thank you very much. <laughs>